It's a race to seven racks and your commentators are Bill Yates and Alex Laley. Open shot on the one, but the difficulty is position on the two. With the angle on the one, the cue ball will travel, come around the four and the two, the pink and the blue. Needs a very smooth touch to leave a cut shot on the two ball. Didn't travel far enough. Now with the safety that his partner will attempt to play, there is some risk of a double kiss. He'll be well aware of that. All Koreans are good three cushion players. Missed the kiss. But he's nowhere near hiding the cue ball. And the English are both <laughs> very good potters indeed. Mark Gray has Moscone Cup experience and in that pressure packed environment he's knocked in great pot after great pot. Yeah, he's solid as a rock. Unconventional technique for a pool player, but he has a snooker background. Yes, he got into the 70s in the world rankings on the snooker tour and one of his most famous victories was beating a certain Jimmy White. Some more time taken by Majid because uh, Gray's stop shot was not a stop shot. He has come back too far. Awkward queuing because of the eight ball. Yeah, sometimes in, in coaching, I'll let people, you know, I work all over Europe, I'll let the group, then they have to play without feathers, without warm-up strokes, and then sometimes play like Mark Gray. Only feathers and no paws on the cue ball. And it works wonderfully well. Because you can notice that Mark Gray, uh, and he's, uh, I think, the only one here in the World Cup of Pool, he, he doesn't really pause on the cue ball. He keeps on feathering many times and then strikes yes a really good illustration there place with a sort of a hybrid cue something in between a pool cue and a snooker cue and so England draw first blood Based on previous success in this tournament, England should be favourites. England continued to push ahead in the next rack, breaking, then running out the colours to lead by two. A dry break by England gave South Korea the chance to take their first rack, but a miss on the two ball presented England with their third consecutive win. A messy rack by both teams was eventually closed out by Imran Majid, giving England a 4-0 lead. Before we rejoin the action, a reminder of the rules, and the World Cup of Pool follows a knockout formula, with the opening round matches a race to seven, the winner breaking, and a 30-second shot clock in operation, with each team allowed just one extension per rack. Now it's interesting to see to what extent they'll be able to maintain that high level of concentration. Because that's another trap. When you don't get any resistance that you lower your guard and lose focus.
going slightly forward off of the one. They have it. Well, Mark Gray pointed out a different position, more angle on the three to go two rails. This is further than what Gray pointed out. Well, he's looking to see whether the four ball goes past the nine. I think that was a, a pretty important look before that positional shot was played. I think it does. And if it doesn't, you know, safety. Stick it behind the nine. Oh, seems to be going awfully tight. This time hampered queuing for Majid, but he's not shaking. Yeah, that's finesse. sign of uh, confidence and comfort if the players keep their finesse. Really straight cue action Mark Gray. That kind of shot. Meat and drink. As indeed is this. When in the correct position, shot after shot, rhythm will come. Will smoothen out any doubt. And disciplined Mark Ray. Straight in shot. He'll still feather the ball eight, nine, ten times. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, well, well. Yet another one-sided contest. This time it's England romping away against the South Koreans. Welcome back to Shanghai in the 2018 World Cup of Pool, where England have stormed into a 5-0 lead against South Korea in the race to seven. Let's rejoin our commentators Phil Yates and Alex Laley. More power this time. So even though he made three balls, you see the balls are tied up more than in co compared to the breaks we saw in previous matches. And here, the same credo. If you're happy with the results, keep doing what you're doing. Otherwise, change. Two balls to hide behind, and I think he's just about done it. And even if they see a glimpse of the two ball, cutting that two ball will send it towards the pocket. It will, will never go in. So I really don't see how they could go for a direct contact on the two ball. There's no future there. Kick shot. Uh, if he hits two rails from the back, there's a risk to scratch in the lower left hand pocket. I would just whack the ball speed and hope for luck. <coughs> Tried an Efren. Finesse kick shot.
So is he going for the jump cue? He is. Very scary. The two ball being so close to the rail, you really have to land perfectly. Actually, the skill in jumping is knowing where to land. Doesn't go. And what height to jump the ball with. Needs to elevate a lot, he needs to go high, not far. Oh, we spotted that one. Oh yeah, definitely caught the five ball and very sporting from Imran Majid telling the referee, yeah, contact was made. And so it's ball in hand. Nearly cleared it. So first point on the board. A breath of fresh air for the two guys. Yes, it appears as though we're not going to see that rarity of back-to-back -back whitewashes. I say appears. I think we can give these two nothing just yet, but really from here it would be astounding if they didn't get a rack on the board. Still a little awkward on the eight. Has an angle he shouldn't have had. Ah, held the cue ball. Apart from the English, no one can begrudge them that. Smiles for the Koreans, the reason they've averted the dreaded whitewash. A dry break by South Korea, followed by a safety on the one ball by Mark Gray, sees the South Koreans back at the table in the seventh. Caught the part just a little too thin, hence the cue ball travelling more than he anticipated. And that's the reason why the Koreans find themselves in a self-imposed snooker. Six blocking the way. The non-educated viewer could think that they're really lifting above their weights. OK, they are. They are underdogs against Majit and Gray. These guys can really play, but not here, not today, that's the difference. It's the difference between elite and everything below that. The bandwidth of the ability of a player to perform under pressure, to perform under the gun, is just narrower for these two players than it is for Majid and Gray. hit now is the three eight lined up does the two pass the three and eight what's a nice hit well to both of your questions Alex I think the answer is in the affirmative there's one part of the equation here's the second part Stormy, stormy night for South Korea. There's a gap between the three and eight. So you can manipulate the eight if it's not lined up straight. Three ball cuts to the side pocket, but the cue ball would travel away from the four. Leave it long or hide behind the seven. And we've seen already the cut of these middle pockets can be harsh. So I think he's done a very sensible thing there. Tight to the cushion. Three cushion players. Of all Q sport disciplines in all countries, three cushion in South Korea is, is huge. Huge. All schools teach three cushion. Wow, look at this. Ryu Sung pulls a rabbit out of the head. Beautiful shot.
beautiful look at that well that was a very big rabbit out of a, a small hat fantastic that was magician like that particular shot After a strong break by South Korea, a miss on the one ball allowed England to run out the colours and move within one of victory. Last break for England. Yeah, that works better. It's always nice if you can get enough speed in that one ball to bump off the short rail peek out far enough to be available to the corners <coughs> it's not on though not to the left the thinnest of shots to the right It's amazing, eh? How often do you see that? The thinnest of cuts, and the player tells himself, just cut the paint of the ball, and then he overcuts. Well, I could see that ball being missed, but not, as Alex said, in that particular way. Don't think Imran Majid can quite believe it. speed now let's see the stability of the back arm oh no still shaking still shaking didn't impact that shot because of its simplicity but you couldn't disguise it yeah, it's very well possible I assume actually that he always has it it's just uh, getting to a maximum now. It's escalating. I remember Nick Varner, you know, one of the most successful players in American history. He, he used to shake, not like this though. Dick Lane, an awesome straight pool player. Not as known to the big audience. a poor shot normal circumstances he should get this and the position on the eight but Ryu Sung Woo is feeling better than his partner should have given Wa Jong a better shape now let's watch the speed better and high than low so better like this than going too far. A tester. You can sense just how uncomfortably he feels. Come on, knock it in. We're all with you. Oh, just couldn't, couldn't keep still enough. Horrible to see. It's like watching a golfer who's got the yips. In contrast, England steady as a rock. 